lot of catamaran buyers ask me, well, what happens on survey day? And typically what we do is I prearrange everything, the haul out, the surveyor, you know, I'll go get quotes from all the different certified surveyors that serve that area because it's expensive to import them, but you could if you, if you want, if you have a favorite one. And usually we meet at 8.30 in the morning, the surveyor arrives and gets his tools set up and he does his thing until about 11 o'clock in the morning. Then we leave for the haul out facility. The cheapest way to get a haul out for survey purposes, which is called a short haul, is to do it during the lunch hour because that's when the employees go to lunch. And so they, right before they go to lunch, they haul us out and the, and the boat just sits in the slings. So it lasts about an hour, and while we're hauled out, the surveyor will inspect the bottom, inspect the running gear, he'll check the rudders to see if the bearings are good, he'll sound the hull, he takes a hammer, and he's listening for voids, delamination, and looking for old repairs. They also use um, uh, moisture meters on parts of the hull that are dry to determine if there's been any water intrusion because this can be really bad for a boat. Like if a repair was not done correctly or if say somebody added some deck hardware and didn't seal it properly, well the water can get in there and travel which results in soft decks and a lot of boats that are older have soft decks it can get a bit messy and expensive to repair. And they also will uh, just go, go around and look for past damage because a lot of past damage doesn't get fixed correctly or they get in a hurry. So you need to know about that. Then we usually launch the boat right after lunch and uh, the buyer pays the yard bill, seller doesn't pay that. And then we go out on a sea trial. So at first, the surveyor will run the engine full speed ahead. He'll actually try and overheat the, the engine because he wants to see if, if that's going to happen. And you know, if it's going to happen, you want it to happen with the surveyor on board. And so after he finishes that, he'll you know take it in and out of gear, put it in reverse, just try different things just to see how the transmission is holding up. And then we'll put up the sails if it's a sailing vessel. And during these sea trials, it's not like a long wine and cheese cruise, okay? It's really just meant to put the sails up, have the surveyor look at them and see them in operation to verify the condition and expected life left in the sails. Now, if you want to have a longer sailing part of it, we should usually tell the seller beforehand, just so they're expecting that. Because, you know, most surveyors, uh, they don't have enough time to go for a two or three hour pleasure cruise. You know, they got to get the work done. So then we go back to the dock. It's usually eh, around three o'clock surveyor finishes things up by four o'clock they're usually done and i asked them to give us a summary of findings briefing which is he will give us all the defects that were found and and i also tell them in the morning okay now if you find something that's major and i define major as anything over one or two thousand dollars to repair that wasn't previously disclosed well as he finds those things, I want to go to the yard estimator there at the shipyard where we haul out and find out how much they'll charge to fix that. So that at the end of the day, we really know what we have. Because, you know, most of the time with these listing sheets, the, the listing agents, they don't really tell you the, the bad as well as the good. 
And, and so we want to know what is going to be needed to make this boat right. And usually by the end of the day, we have a really good idea. So everything's over by usually 4.30 or 5. And we then have the list of defects. So after that, you have usually eh, three to four days to make up your mind. Are you going to go ahead with this or not? And so you can either accept the vessel after survey, or you can reject it, get a full refund of deposit, or you can accept it subject to certain conditions. That would be a conditional acceptance of vessel. And so that would be worded something like this. Um, we'll accept the vessel as is, but we want a $2,000 discount to cover the cost of the bent rudder post that you didn't tell us about before. And the $2,000 is what the yard foreman said it was gonna cost the fix. And so once both parties sign the conditional acceptance, then we usually have uh, seven to 14 days to do all the closing paperwork. And um, I'll go into what's involved there in another video, but that's, that's generally what happens on the survey sea trial. It, it takes place just all in one day. We're usually you know done at the end of the day. And uh, that's, and the smart way is to have a certified surveyor do your inspection for you. And I can help you find them. Uh, so if you're interested in more information about that or just have questions, why don't you look me up on my website, largecatamaransforsale.com and look forward to working with you. See you later.